uh, everything in this world is uh, pollutant, impure, fake, and mostly artificial. Even if you take the nature given things like fruits and other things, they are, uh, they are not pure. So uh, it is becoming uh, day by day very difficult to believe whom, who, who do you trust in this world? It is very, very difficult to uh, trust anything, even sometimes the natural things which are coming uh, uh, to us. But uh, because of uh, uh, the uh, because of the way we are leading the life and other things, everything is become pollutant, impure. So who do you trust in this world? Uh, uh, if I'm not exaggerant, I, uh, we can um, trust two things. One is uh, the mother's love and another is blockchain. Why blockchain is so trustworthy, you are going to understand. Because uh, the blockchain is built to uh, make the people trust the uh, system, the system uh, for which uh, the blockchain is developed. So the very important uh, uh, concept behind blockchain is to make the people trust the system uh, for which the blockchain is developed. Otherwise, uh, uh, trusting, uh, because as I told you, trusting the people, trusting the natural things is uh, becoming uh, difficult day by day. Uh, but blockchain uh, allows you to trust the system. Uh, in which you are uh, working if uh, it is actually uh, supported or uh, developed uh, through blockchain. So that is uh, one thing I want to ensure. Then if you take the blockchain, uh, blockchain has so many characteristics. Uh, actually, uh, it is a general pur uh, purpose technology uh, to boost economic and social well-being. Uh, how it does this by significantly lowering the transaction cost. So uh, if you take the blockchain, I'm going to give the applications a little later. Uh, if you take the blockchain nowadays, uh, it is uh, uh, it is there everywhere in almost uh, every application starting from uh, even if you go up to IoT, uh, if you take the uh, land registration, uh, uh, supply chain, there are so many areas where blockchain is uh, uh, coming, but uh, uh, Still, it is uh, in its infancy stage. Uh, uh, surely, in coming years, uh, blockchain uh, is going to uh, going to take uh, over the world, and uh, surely there will be so many blockchain applications because uh, uh, the technology is like that. Uh, uh, so, uh, in future, it has very good future. Now, when you take uh, the blockchain, mainly if you take the uh, properties, whatever given, it is a distributed because when you take uh, the ledgers, uh, uh, what is ledger? Uh, you may be knowing it's like normal ledger, which we use for accounts. Uh, uh, similar kind of ledger will be there, but uh, it is not centralized one. It is distributed, decentralized and distributed. So the uh, ledger is, uh, the copies of the ledger is available for uh, available with every peer in the network. The terms uh, we are going to uh, define uh, as we progress uh, because uh, what is the node here, uh, it, uh, it may not be clear at this stage, uh, we'll be knowing uh, as we progress. And uh, when you take um, everything is encrypted, transparent, and if, if you say transparent, uh, everything is transparent, but uh, uh, it is pseudo anonymous. You will not be, uh, suppose if you are there in the blockchain system, you will, your details uh, will not be known to anybody, but uh, your uh, hash key will be known. Everything is through hash key. So the user is known as hash key. The transaction is known as uh, with hash key. Everything is uh, with hash key. Some key will be there. Uh, everything is referred with the help of that. So it is transparent, no doubt. It is very safe. Uh, but at the same time, uh, your privacy is maintained. You will, even if you are doing some transactions in blockchain, uh, you, uh, you, uh, a person cannot say that you are doing transaction by just seeing the transaction. So, uh, so privacy is protected at the same time it is transparent. Um, it is immutable if you try to uh, do, uh, you cannot uh, modify it. Uh, if you try to modify it, there is going to be a problem uh, that I'll try to give uh, with the help of a demo. And uh, uh, it is consensus, that means uh, 
so many people should agree for uh, validation uh, if before anything is recorded in the blockchain uh, some people should agree uh, with the valid validation of uh, that particular transaction what you are doing then only it is going to be added to the blockchain and uh, it is programmable the very uh, important thing here is programmable because uh, we are our main uh, uh, main topic here is programmable because if you take smart contract, it's a program. So it is a programmable one. Uh, uh, what is programmable? Suppose if you take anything which is programmable, what it means is it is capable of uh, being programmed for automatic operation or some processing. So if you want to do some processing, some kind of job, if you want to do, uh, you can program. So blockchain is also programmable. So that is, uh, these are the uh, things that are related with blockchain. Now, I, I told you it's a distributed ledger, so there will be entries and uh, the same copy of the entries will be available with uh, uh, all the stakeholders who were involved with that, uh, they will have the copies. Uh, here, uh, I'm giving uh, like Alice, Bob, Charlie, but uh, here for uh, understanding purpose, uh, here the names are given, but uh, uh, in fact, uh, no name is shown, only the hash key of uh, the person will be uh, displayed there, or account number will be displayed, not uh, uh, the names. So the uh, it is uh, it is actually your privacy is protected very well in blockchain so it is a distributed ledger uh, because everybody will have a copy of uh, the ledger so modification to the ledger is uh, uh, almost impossible because uh, if i try to modify uh, i have to modify everywhere and everybody should agree so it's not uh, easy to modify so uh, that is uh, that is uh, the um, trust uh, you can say uh, the blockchain is providing because uh, it is very, very difficult to tamper the records. So that's why we can trust the blockchain. Um, so uh, that is uh, the ledger. And uh, uh, actually this, uh, I, I will I'll give demo little later. So there will be, uh, as I told you, when you have a transaction, uh, there will be, uh, when you take a block, it is uh, actually has a series of transactions. Uh, when you take the transaction, uh, if I take the transaction, how it look like, uh, I'll be giving a demo for this. But before that, uh, after some slides, I want to give the demo. So before that, when you take a transaction, there will be uh, the transaction will have some data that may be a simple message or a record, whatever it is. And it may also have the previous hash key. Previous hash key means the hash key of the previous uh, transaction, then uh, the uh, current hash key. So current hash key, uh, hash key will be uh, there. And uh, um, this is suppose uh, one transaction. Now the previous, uh, this uh, data may be some XYZ previous, uh, uh, key maybe one, two, three, four, and so on. Uh, that is a key. Uh, then uh, based uh, based on this and other parameters, uh, the current hash key is generated. So three, four, five, six, seven. Uh, the current hash key is generated. Now, if you take the next transaction, so this uh, uh, pre this current transaction will be the uh, previous here. So this key will be present here. This is how uh, it is called as a chain blockchain but it is uh, you, you can um, uh, logically think it as a linked list but uh, in fact uh, uh, this is just uh, it will give the uh, hash key of the previous transaction it will not give where exactly that uh, transaction is present so until unless you are uh, you are uh, uh, one of uh, the member involved in the network, uh, you cannot know where the transaction is, but there will be uh, links present. So that's why it is chain. It is not linked list, but uh, um, uh, current uh, transaction two will have uh, uh, the uh, uh, hash key of uh, transaction one and so on. So uh, suppose if I uh, uh, try to change uh, the uh, try to change after the blockchain record is created. Uh, suppose if you take this is CDEF, then current hash key. 
So after the uh, transaction is created, if you try to modify, tamper the data, then uh, all the chains in the uh, in the ledger will be invalidated. In the block will be invalidated. So uh, easily people can know uh, uh, can know that uh, the record is tampered. So. Uh, that is the reason why it is uh, uh, very very difficult to tamper uh, tamper the records. Uh, we'll, uh, I'll give you demo for this uh, little later. Uh, we'll see what are the next slides present. So the transactions are maintained as a, a Merkle tree uh, in each block uh, because when uh, when it is a tree, then uh, the uh, compactness uh, compactness in the data uh, in the memory is maintained and also the searching becomes uh, easy so uh, the merkle tree is uh, used to maintain the uh, the records uh, the uh, ha uh, the transactions and uh, the hash keys um, then as i told you the blockchain uh, the consensus required so uh, uh, so many uh, stakeholders, uh, miners, uh, uh, what is mining I'm going to give you, uh, they should uh, agree. Um, they should agree for uh, the uh, uh, for validation. So uh, only when it is validated by several people, then uh, it is going to be recorded in the uh, block. Uh, so finally, what we can say from the uh, blockchain is it gives you the trust. It gives you the trust. So that is uh, the main uh, thing behind the blockchain. Now, when you take the applications, uh, applications of blockchain, there are so many applications uh, like uh, uh, government. There are so many applications. Then if you take real estate records, land registrations, IOT, even education sectors, uh, uh, the certificates you can uh, generate through blockchain. Uh, uh, even if you take the um, uh, if you take the uh, election mechanism, whatever is there, uh, if uh, the government allows the election mechanism, if it is uh, actually uh, implemented through blockchain, it becomes full proof. Uh, system and uh, it is uh, not possible for anybody to uh, go uh, illegal way to vote and other things like uh, uh, in uh, in uh, you cannot go on the behalf of somebody else to vote so everything will be full proof